Zach, here we go. I'm gonna say sorry in advance. I'm coming up here. You say sorry in advance. <laughs> Hello. How about that right in? I guess that's why they call it Sin City. <laughs> For those who don't know me, I go by the name of Adam or Zach or Papa. And I'm honored to be standing up here today on this very special day as Dominic's best man. <laughs> Dominic and I first met early 2004 after moving a few houses down the street from here. Mark and my dad grew up as friends together back in the good old days. 82! <laughs> I remember after moving in, I was outside in my front yard with my dad. Mark walked over to our house to welcome us in. Dominic tagged along with his dad. When Mark was ready to walk back home, he told Dominic to stay over and hang out with me. Dominic, and I quote, said, but dad, I don't know him. <laughs> and that's where our friendship began. A quick timeline of our childhood memories consisted of hosting a complete episode of WWE Smackdown Backyard edition on the trampoline. As we got a little bit older, we somehow got our hands on some airsoft guns. I thought it would be a cool idea to shoot each other with them. A few, a few more years would go by, and our version of fun was to go bodies with each other in the field. And for those who don't know what that is, feel free to ask him later on in the night. It was all fun and games until he punched me in the face by accident. And then even then we still laughed about it. It wasn't until we got skateboards that we turned into those kids who would always give our parents a reason to be worried. We grew our hair out, never wanted to be home, and we began to claim the South Side of Nuevo. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic and I later became a duo DJ crew, using this garage right here as a headquarters to practice. I'm sorry, Mark and Linda, for keeping you guys up all those nights. <laughs> We DJ multiple house parties, backyard parties, and as many as you here remember, all the family parties we played at. Dominic and I grew up since childhood, making it impossible to talk about all the memories we share. <laughs> Julia, you look absolutely amazing tonight. <laughs> Dominic, I'm so glad you found your soulmate and your best friend. 19 years ago when you met me. <laughs> I'm kidding, kind of. In early 2020, Dominic and I became roommates. They say moving in with your best friend will ruin a friendship, but that was definitely not the case. All it did was start a new chapter for our friendship. During this time is when Dominic and Julia first met. Dominic and I would watch TV, and I'd per periodically catch him staring at selfies of Julia as he would sit there and with a cheesy smile on his face. <laughs> Meeting Julia for the first time came so naturally. She liked me way before she even met me, only because she found out I'm also a New Orleans Saints fan. In fact, I knew Dominic was already in love when he dumped the Raiders and became a Saints fan shortly after he met Julia. Dom, I'm glad you decided to join a winning franchise, but I'll always blame you for the Saints loss against the Raiders in 2020. The first year that you converted teams, 34 to 24. Oh, jeez. Julia, our friendship is, uh, is something not a lot of people can understand. We're always in constant competition with each other, whether it's being whoever cooks better, whoever's right or wrong, or whoever's more Puerto Rican. I'm a little Puerto Rican. You're very sarcastic and so am I. If anyone was to hear one of our conversations, they would think we're always arguing. But you and I know that's just how we get along. One of my favorite memories of all of us was the night we got back home after spending all day going riding out in the hills. We were all tired but super hungry, so we ordered some buffalo wild wings. See, you guys thought I was really going to embarrass you like that, huh? Uh See, the best thing about having a friendship as tight as ours is that we will always have secrets and inside jokes nobody else will ever know about. Those are our secrets, meant for us, and only us. <laughs> Dom, I've known you as a kid, a teenager, and an adult. 
We've always been there for each other through our darkest moments, our brightest days, the good and the bad, through thick and thin. I grew up in a household of three other siblings, all sisters. I call Dominic my best friend, but he knows, I know, and most of you here know, Dominic is my brother, the brother I wish I always had to been able to grow up with. I would like to take the time now to say thank you, Mark and Linda, for always welcoming me into your house, for putting up with all the trouble Dom and I would get into together. And I mean that 100% because it shows that you guys always trusted Dom and I to grow up together. I love you guys, and I love the entire family for always making me feel welcome, for making me a part of your family. Love you guys. With that being said, Dom, I couldn't be more proud of you. Thank you for being my brother. I love you, man. Right now, I'd like to take the time for everyone to raise a glass and give a tilt. He's a hold the mic. All right. Everyone got their drinks? Dom, oh, okay. stand by. <laughs> Can he drink mine? <laughs> stand by for the stand by. All right, so right now I'd like to take the time to raise everyone's glass and give a toast. Dom, Julia, congratulations on this very special day. To a long life together filled with happiness, adventure, and lots of wonderful memories. Mr. and Mrs. Valentin. Julia, you better make sure to take good care of Dominic, otherwise he's coming right back to me.